Hello, future Matador families. The purpose of this video is to show you how to register for classes online for your students' freshman year at Granada High School. It's an exciting time. Hello, future Matador families. The purpose of this video is to show you how to register for freshman year classes online. So here I'm at, uh, I'm on a web page. I'm going to go to granadahigh.com. And that takes us to our beautiful school website. At our school website, I'm going to go to Student Life, and then down here to Online Course Registration. There'll be a bunch of things on this page that uh, could be helpful, registration um, materials, uh, course catalog type stuff. This tutorial actually will be on here if you, if you uh, wanna listen to it, maybe just over and over and over and over and over again. But the main thing on this page that you're going to want is this big PowerSchool Parent Student Login. All you have to do is click right on it, and that takes you to this page. This is our PowerSchool login screen. So logging in for your student uh, it assumes the following. Your, the student's username is the ID number. And then the password for the student is the student's birthday with the leading zeros. So in other words, if the student was born in... Uh, January, then that would be 01. So I'm going to use the birthday March 23rd, 2005. That would be 03232005. Because of the leading zeros, all passwords should be exactly eight digits long. I'm going to sign in. And that takes me to into PowerSchool. On the left hand side is a little button course registration. When I click on that, it takes me to the course registration page. So now, here are all of the various areas that you're going to be required to select some choices in. And on the right-hand side, you'll see these little pencils with red exclamation points next to them. And as I scroll down the screen, I'm gonna tell you that my job is to change all of these red exclamation points into little green check marks. For example, right here, we have the, required, the courses that are required of all freshmen, so those are pre-selected for you. And you can see a little green check mark next to them. That's PE1A, PE1B, and then our fit freshman in, in transition class. So because those are pre-selected, that one already has the green uh, check mark. So we're going to make all the rest of these exclamation points into green check marks. Uh, so I'm going to start with uh, social science. Click on, I like to start at the top. I'm going to click on the little pencil right here. And my student is going to take, I'm not going to do honors this year, I'm just going to do social studies 9A. Select that course and hit OK. You will notice that the red exclamation point has turned into a green check mark. On to English class. I'm going to select English 9A and 9B. Um, it doesn't, for social studies, it's just the one half, but for other courses, so you need to make sure to select the A and the B portion of a class. By the way, You'll notice that when I select that second one because it needs two courses, the little red exclamation point here also turns into a green check mark. I hit OK, that one's done. On to math. It's my freshman year in high school. I'm going to choose between three trimester algebra or two trimester algebra. The way you can tell on here which is which is that the algebra, the full three trimester classes are all the way spelled out, algebra 1A. And the two trimester ones will be shorter. Alg 1A, that's a two trimester class. So I'm going to do three trimester algebra. I'm going to select algebra 1A, algebra 1B, but there's still a third trimester that I have to select. Because these are alphabetical, I'm going to go to the next page and select intro to algebra 1. Once I do that, I hit OK. Notice here that I have my three classes. The freshman required classes are already done. On to health. Most freshmen are going to clear health their freshman year. Um, sometimes people can't fit it in or they have other options for how they want to take care of that. If you are not going to choose health, then don't just leave it blank. You need to select new choices. But I'm going to go ahead and take health my freshman year and get it done. So there's that one. On to science. Because I am taking algebra, I'm going to say that... Um, uh, we, we uh, technically, um, usually we recommend that a student finishes algebra before beginning biology. And so because I'm just taking algebra this year, I'm going to go ahead and select conceptual physics to satisfy the um, physical science requirement. And then I'll select 
a so bit. So let's see how many classes I have. Now that we're into the elect, we're done with the core departments, and now we're into the elective section. So it's a good idea to kind of take a second here and count up how many classes I have to see sort of how much room I have left to, to play with. So count any class that has five credits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I actually do already have the 12 class minimum. If you take 12 classes every year of, of high school, then you will graduate exactly on time. But I have a little bit of room to maybe get ahead in some of the other things that I wanna do. I wanna try and be four year college eligible at the end of high school. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a head start on my world language. I'm gonna start with Spanish 1A and Spanish 1B and choose okay. Um, that brings me up to, that uh, should be 14 classes. So freshman year, often pretty packed. There's lots of other great stuff that I could do. I'm gonna say for the purposes of this schedule that I don't have the room in it for this year. And so I could take a VPA class. I'm gonna say not quite any room. I'm gonna click around until I find no choices and select no choices. Lots of great CTE classes available for us, but not this year. Got three other years to take robotics. And then no PE electives for me. There are also some non-departmental electives that are a bill, uh, uh, that's possible, so no choices there. Uh, if I am interested in dual immersion or IB, um, and, and next year we do have the IB and uh, middle years program classes for social studies and uh, for English, if I'm interested in being enrolled in those versions of English, then I would select IB9 interest. Otherwise, I would, I would select no choices. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I am interested in being in the IB NYP classes. Select OK. Now, at this point, it asks me to count my classes. Again, I'm counting up everything that it has. So I'm not going to count this. That's zero credits. I'm going to count everything else. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No other classes there. So when I go here, I select 14 uh, courses. Notice that I cannot have less than 12, nor can I have more than 15. Now, because I have that one open period, that means I'm going to have an open period somewhere. And this is a screen, the plan your schedule screen, that asks uh, that I indicate my preference for when my no period is. Notice that I said preference. This is not a, a promise for that. You know, it's entirely possible that the Spanish class that I want is only available in the period that I've, I've selected. But this does indicate our preference, and we'll, we'll try to match those where possible. I'm going to say that I want no period five in the spring. And the other thing is I need to choose alternates. Please make sure that you and your students take time to really select alternates that are, are meaningful. Don't just pick random classes. Um, it's very, very, very possible, and I would say even likely that you are assigned some of your alternates. Sometimes classes that we choose run into each other, you know, whatever, Spanish with health or something. And so I'm going to say, okay, if I can't get into Spanish, I'm gonna ask for um, American Sign Language 1B, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and ask for animation one, and I'm gonna hit okay. And that gives me my three alternates. Make sure, students, make sure that you are honest and you go to your parents and they look over your plan for the year. And once your parents have, have checked that off, then go ahead and uh, hit request to verified. And that gives us parent approval. Now I look down here, I see requires between 60 and 75 credit hours. I'm requesting 70, I have a little green check mark here and I have green check marks all the way up and down the screen, which means I am all done and I'm ready to submit and I'm ready to do amazing for the rest of my eighth grade year and looking forward to my, uh, my great classes in high school. Once I'm at this screen, this lets me know that I've done everything correctly. Please remember that the deadline for the submission of, of uh, registering for classes is April 10th. Thank you everybody, looking forward to seeing you next year.